It's a privilege to be here today for this very special fixture. Every time they meet each other, these two teams, it is a very special day. Hopefully it lives up to the billing. Join us for the kickoff, and it's live. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the Parc des Princes, wonderful stadium here in Paris. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith alongside me. Our cup football is bound to be dramatic in this particular context. It's PSG against Monaco. Yeah, some teams are suited to knockout football, others aren't. But we've got a couple of sides here, I think, that'll be uh, harboring ambitions of going all the way in this competition. Looking at Monaco, I think Alan and I have agreed that maybe this area of the team is going to be very important. He will be a key man. Three in his last three, really been his team's man of the moment. This is their lineup. Well, it's the old joke, isn't it, Alan? Diamonds aren't forever, but they are for this game anyway, for this manager. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? We've got those lads on the side of the diamond quite wide, but I think they might tuck in when they haven't got the ball just to try and stay nice and solid through the middle. Wholesale changes for Monaco. Diego Benaglio starts in goal. Camille Click starts with Jemison in defence. Jelson Martins starts with Jordan Lukaku in the wide positions. Timo Werner starts up with Wissam Ben Yedder. Well, we've waited for the action. It's starting now as Paris Saint-Germain get the game underway. Didn't want it to stop, did they? And the referees uh, got the sympathy of this match, I think. He understands it, and they're playing on. Jelson Martins, a couple of teammates up in support. Well, they've got to keep the crosses coming in. I'm sure in the end we'll deliver something, but it didn't this time. Gabriel Jesus. Lautaro Martinez. In behind the defenders. Draxler. Defenders done well here to clear the danger. Cut out the pass. Golovin. Golovin, this to put them ahead. Well, that is a free kick, and they've got a chance to really make the most of that decision. We're very early in this game, aren't we? And the yellow card out straight away, that maybe could be difficult for the player, it is going to be, maybe for the ref as well. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a tightrope for the player, obviously, with so much to go in this match, but the kind of challenge, I think... And a goal! Well, that's just scraped the post from the free kick. Oh, it's a top effort, just a couple of inches out. Here he is, Hakan Chalonolo. Martinez. Well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? Gabriel Jesus. Intercepted well. Taking on a couple of opponents now. That's how to tackle. Doesn't want to lose it here. I'm just hearing that there's been a goal somewhere else. Alan McAnally is there, I believe. Alan, what have you got for us? It's a goal for Bordeaux. 19 minutes played. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attack of the chase. And there it is! Appreciating that, and so are his teammates. What a good finish, and what a good ball through to him. Harry 
Paris Saint-Germain in front. Well, we had to break away from Alan McAnally there. Apologies for that. If it wasn't quite clear for you, Bordeaux did score in that game. And they now lead by that goal, 1-0. Gabriel Jesus. Strong challenge. Ben Yedder. Now Adrian Silva. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. And he could get away here. It's opened up. Off the post. Cuts it out nicely. And now the shot. He's almost defied gravity to get to that one. Full stretch. It was heading for the corner, that one. Corner. Swung in from the corner. Strong punch from the corner by the keeper. Could get the ball into the box now. Pressed high here. PSG trailing here in the possession stats. Could do it. Badly timed tackle. He'll be booked for that. It's definitely a yellow in the mind of the referee, definitely. Well, I think it unquestionably was. I mean, on another day, he might have got a red for that. It was a really dangerous challenge. Gabriel Jesus. Always risky sliding in like that, particularly in the penalty area, but he got away with it this time. No reason to stop the game for the referee then, and he's read the play well. One or two options now in forward areas for them. He could guiding the pass through. He saved it, and saved it well. Short corner, designed to move the opposition around in the middle. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Adrian Silva. Now he could play it into the danger area. But this could be an opportunity in behind the defence. Goal! It's no goal. The flag's up. But it's certainly a, a well-worked move, but uh, denied by the assistant. Gabriel Jesus. Excellent ball from Draxler. Martinez! Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. We've got two added minutes. That's been signalled now. And maybe the... He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Real chance now. He really fancied him to score, but the goalkeeper kept his beliefs and kept him out. Well, the referee has signalled for half-time. We're going to find out just how good the drainage is here in the second half. Been pouring again through half time, and it's still coming down in stair rods, really, as the second half gets underway. Promising forward play from them again. It's part of his game, this, to come infield and maybe have a crack at goal. Julian Draxler. Gabriel Jesus. Great tackle. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Yeah, it was a good first 45 minutes from the lad. Got the ball rolling with that goal, and he's been sent. Perner! Got to it and made the save comfortably. Yeah, he would have got some stick if that had found the net. Corner played in. All Peters out, rather, for them. They've lost the ball in a bad area. Shots on here. Now oh, the keeper's done well to keep that one out. It's the league uh, fixture that we're going to just tell you about for the home team. That's their next game, and you'll see it on EA Sports. Well, he's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Julian Draxler. As for Monaco, their next game, Alan? Well, they're playing Saint-Étienne in the next match in Ligue 1. And uh, I think this cup tie will be extremely tight. Here's Adrian Silva getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Ben Yedder. Going to get a change for Monaco. 
Excellent work with the tackle. Gabriel Jesus. Excellent, incisive ball from Draxler. Now Draxler. Well, he has cleared the danger. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. He's played really well. He's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders and took his goal really well. Cuts it out nicely. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Now he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. Golovin. Well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. That's an easy cut out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Now, can he take them on? Joseph Martin coming into the penalty area now. Well, that's the keeper's ball from the moment. The... Oh, mistake by the goalkeeper. This could bring them level. Decent delivery from the wide area, but no positive outcome from it. Nobody could turn it in. Now Fabian. One last push from Paris Saint-Germain. You feel just to keep the opposition at arm's length and confirm the victory that's looked likely throughout the game. Whipped in from the wide area. Is Hakan Chalonolu. A look at the watch, and that will tell you six minutes to go. Here's Icardi. Good vision here. Gabriel Jesus. Icardi! And he scores spectacularly. They're in, they've scored, they're surely home and dry. Well, some might say you'd prefer to score from 25 yards, but I wouldn't go along with that. This is all about instinct. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Room in which to attack. Oh, it's too strong the cross. It's gone over everyone in the middle. Golovin. Crowd uh, maybe expected a bit more, but it's two added minutes. Finished here, 